Hello, this is Ramblings of an Indiscipline Mind podcast for Wednesday, September 14th, 2016. As of this recording, Sierra is still missing. If you are a video person, I apologize. You are getting the uh, kind of non-video video version today. Uh, my phone is uh, at 1%. And charging, but it's not enough power for me to record video. So I'm just going with the audio version for today. You get a break from my face. You're welcome. I will be back in video tomorrow. And if you're an audio person wondering how to find my video, go to YouTube and uh, search for Keith Hughes. And you should find it. Or you can see the video version at uh, penslinger.com. Uh, for the last couple weeks or so, I've been actually embedding the YouTube version um, player right on the blog post. So uh, you can you can uh, find it that way. Uh, I have an Android game that I found today that I was that, that, that I thought was fun and worth sharing. I've been I've been trying to find games that you know are something a little bit different and you know obviously fun to play. I, I played a couple games that were just kind of the basic escape the room and they were okay, but they weren't anything really new and different. Um, but I, I came across this game called Infinity Loop, and I believe the name of the company is also called Infi- Infinity Loop. And it starts off very simply. You know, first of all, the, the levels are not timed. It seems like there might be, there, there, there may be, it doesn't really rack up points. You just get the, the, the joy of finishing the level. It seems like there, there could be some competition based on clearing the level in the least amount of moves, perhaps, but that doesn't seem to be the case. I, I try to do as little as possible. This is kind of a challenge to myself. So what you start off with is you got a, a screen that has got a number, and it starts off with a relatively small number, uh, and it gets bigger, of, of various shapes. So you got what I, what I think of as, as terminators, so, so a little round circle with with a line coming out of it, um, or, or kind of a path, and then you've got these these other pieces that are a, a quarter curve, and you got some that are like a, a junction uh, of, of two curves together, kind of like you know how you how you uh, draw a bird if you're in the stick figure drawing, like I am. You kind of just do the two half circles, kind of connected, and that's a bird. That's kind of what this looks like, but it acts as a junction, and so your job is to take whatever pieces there are and to get them connected to the point where there's nothing that is unconnected. There's no, there's no open uh, piece. It's a solid um, path from one connector to another. And as you move through the levels, sometimes you'll have multiple shapes on that. They don't, it doesn't have to be one overriding path. It could be maybe you've got two or three different paths going through this. And so long as they're all, you know, terminated uh, in one shape, way, shape, or form. And there's one I did where where I had the shape in the middle that was just an oval. There was no terminator at all. Other ones, sometimes you just got two, ter- two of these terminators just pointing at each other. Uh, so that's a path and, and whatnot. And, and so it just gets, it gets more and more difficult by adding... Um, more of these things in different configurations and that gets it uh, to be to, to the point where it increases the difficulty. In fact, I'm kind of stuck on the one that I'm on right now where there's probably, I don't know, 20, maybe around 20 different uh, pieces right now and and I can't quite get uh, a configuration that, that, that has them all. So I, I still keep playing with it a little bit, but uh, I am kind of stuck on this level trying to figure out what's the right way to do it and to have everything be used. That's the whole thing. you got to use every piece, and there can't be like a piece that just goes off somewhere and doesn't connect to something on one end. 
it's got to be kind of like you got to close a loop in some way, shape, or form. Uh, and, and it's a lot of fun. And there's there's a music background that's pretty ambient, you know, music kind of stuff. And and then you get like a special tone when you when you um, when you solve a, a puzzle. And I was looking around on the menus, and I discovered that there's actually two modes. So this is all curves. You know, it's all curves, and, and there's no, no, well, every now and then they'll give you a straight line. But, you know, for the most part, it's pretty much all curves. Uh, certainly no 90-degree angles. I found out there's another mode um, that you can play. It's kind of the dark side to the light side in that it's, it's kind of the polar opposite. So all the pieces are either straight lines or curves or there's this one that kind of looks like a, a T with a very small upright leg, you know, kind of like a, 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 a Tetris piece. And they'll be in a various configurations. And what you have to do with these things is you have to get them all so they're not touching. So you'll get a screen and it'll have uh, you know, a couple of different sizes of just a, a, a straight piece. And you'll have some that are 90 degree angles, and you have these little T things, and you and you tap them and they rotate. I, I forgot to say that for the other one. Same thing with the other one. You tap them and they rotate a quarter turn, and so the 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 uh, uh, outcome of these dark side ones is that you have to get it so that none of the pieces are touching, and then you've solved it. So I've done about uh, 40, 40 levels on both of these. Uh, modes and they're pretty fun. It's it's a it's a nice way if you just you know, you're sitting there you don't want something that's going to totally eat up all your attention but you just want to kind of uh, be looking at something and and you know playing playing a game. There's no time pressure. There's not even really any any pressure as far as you're trying to build a score or anything like that. Uh, I do think it's got the way to to uh, uh, interface in with the uh, Google Gamer score which I really haven't looked into. I probably should. So I'm assuming that you can build up some points that way. But I don't... Uh, it isn't like showing you a total or anything. I didn't see anything for like a leaderboard or anything. But it's a fun little game. And once again, it is called Infinity Loop. So if you uh, are looking for something like that, yeah, check it out. I think it could be fun. I think it could be fun. Uh, but that's really all I had to talk about today. I will be back tomorrow, and I'll be talking to you then. So, be seeing you.